But we understand that Bear County Elections Administrator Jackie Callanan is addressing the press no. right now. Let's go there live. I mean, again, when you go into these, you look at the last like. That was 122. Then we had this huge rise in voter registration. And I think we figured out it was like a 13% increase just in voter registration. So we take all those numbers and bump them up. But this looks like we're going in the wrong direction. If we have 66,000 now, and we're averaging 6,600 an hour with only two hours to go, I don't think we're gonna make 100. I think what it's proving, we have this wonderful, energized election, but when we get right down to it, Bear County likes to vote early. We've always seen that. We've always seen that we get 60 to 65% of our voters historically come in for early voting. That's what we're seeing, only that number went up. So again, they're showing us they like early voting. And the governor helped by adding those other six days. Um, you know, we needed it for social distancing. We needed the time, but early voting was a success, hands down. And election day was a success, just a little bit disappointing. And I don't even want to use that word in a presidential election to say disappointing, but you all know what we're talking about. I mean, we set certain goals, we staff up for a certain amount of people to come, and they just didn't come so far today. Thanks. Voter turnout will still be well over 60% overall if you count the mail in the early. In yes, the day. yes, we'll still talk bring, about, and that'll be the highest. Talk about whether you're happy with that. <clears throat> Absolutely. Um, the highest we'd had was 57.7%. And we will break that 60% threshold. And that's going to be terrific. We are still counting mail ballots as, we, as I'm out here. I have to go back in because we're tabulating the mail that came in today. So that number will go up. But y'all hang with us and watch our website about seven o'clock and we'll post those numbers just as soon as we get them. So you'll see the majority of that 600,000 plus votes come in. Did you hear anything about the Trump train down at the Mission Branch Library? I've heard about the Trump train all day. <laughs> what have you heard? Just that they're there and they're noisy and they drive through and drive past and you know, try and serve some excitement. Well, I understand so, the sheriff had to tell him to stop honking, is that right? We did send one, a sheriff out, yes, because they, they seem to have stayed there longer than they've stayed at the other sites. But again, we have people right down here at the end of the, end of the block, they're gonna be hoarse by the end of the day. Do you see those people at all the other sites or their, or their campaign workers being very enthusiastic all around town? All right, that is Elections Administrator Jackie Callanan giving us an update and kind of confirming to us what we have expected and what we've been hearing all day, that voter turnout is lower than expected. She thought there might be as many as 100,000 people that would vote today. She said just moments ago in that presser, she'll be happy if they get to 80 thousand today. So not the turnout on election day that they were expecting. Yeah, just mid afternoon they were at 6600. Uh she did say while well, she Well, they were 6600 per hour. Per hour. They were yes. at 35,000 at, right. at noon, yeah. And then she was saying that she's disappointed by the the low turnout on election day, but happy because it proved that early voting and that expanded early voting that Texas did was actually a success. Yeah, she said it's sending a message yeah. that people like early voting. All right. We've got uh, 600,000 votes coming in at 7 o'clock tonight from that early voting. Yeah, so. we'll check in then. We'll be back after this.